Hey Pokemon trainers! With the start of the third Pokemon Go Ultra Unlock, Zacian and Zamazenta have debuted in 5 star raids. I know it's a bit surprising to see these Galar legendaries before the Alolan legendaries. But surprises aside, how good are these two Pokemon in Pokemon Go? Well that's what we're going to discuss today, so let's not waste any more time and get right into it. Welcome back everyone! If you're watching this video around the time of its release, Zacian will have just debuted in Legendary Raids, and Zamazeta will soon follow. Like I've done in previous videos, I'm going to be analyzing these Pokemon's overall effectiveness in the game. So without further ado, let's start with their raid performance. Zacian and Zamazenta both share identical stats in their Hero of Many Battles forms, which have also been translated into Pokemon Go. Both legendaries have base stats of 254 attack, 236 defense, and 192 stamina. At first glance, these are pretty well-rounded stats, but in terms of raid effectiveness, neither will be any good in their current forms. The main reason for this is their fast moves. Both have a similar move pool of Metal Claw, Snarl, and Quick Attack, while Zacian also has Fire Fang, and Zamazenta has Ice Fang. With Zacian being a fairy type and Zamazenta being a fighting type, it's easy to see why none will make an impact as raid attackers. Neither have a fairy or fighting fast move. Even in the main series, neither has access to charm, counter, low kick, or even rock smash. They're going to be out of luck in this department unless they get brand new moves. Fortunately, they're not completely useless, as both have decent charged moves for PvP. Zacian's charged moves include Play Rough, Iron Head, Wild Charge, and Close Combat, which are all pretty great options. With the high energy generating Snarl alongside Play Rough and Close Combat, Zacian has a lot of versatility as a Master League Pokemon. Play Rough lets it stand against Palkia, Yveltal, and Dragonite, while Close Combat gives it a powerful move to counter Dialga, Melmetal, and others. Alternatively, you can switch Close Combat for Wild Charge, giving you better coverage against Kyogre and Flying types. I can say for certain that Zacian is going to be a great player in the Master League. Now moving on to Zamazenta, it holds Moonblast, Iron Head, Crunch, and Close Combat. Being a fighting type, it's definitely important that it utilizes Close Combat so it gains the same type attack bonus because it's a fighting type. You can also use Crunch as a secondary, so it offers coverage against its psychic weaknesses. Additionally, Crunch will also help it stand up against Giratina, which as many of you know is a Master League staple. If you don't want to use Crunch, you can also use Iron Head to counter Fairy types, but Iron Head isn't as good of a move as Crunch because it's a lot less versatile. In conclusion, both Zacian and Zamazenta will make a splash in their Hero of Many Battles forms. If you want to use them, I highly recommend getting one with good IVs for the Master League. Now if I had to choose one between the two, I would say that Zacian is the superior option. Both are good in their own right, but Zacian's fairy typing and coverage give it the edge against the Master League meta. Now before we conclude for the day, I want to briefly touch on the two's more powerful crowned forms. In its crowned form, Zacian's attack stat will jump through the roof to a terrifying 332. That would give it the second highest attack in Pokemon Go, only second to Deoxys. But unlike Deoxys, Zacian is a freaking tank, so that alone gives it huge potential. Even if it kept Metal Claw and Iron Head, it would still completely trample Meteor Mash Metagross, only being beat out by its Shadow version and its upcoming Mega. There's also a good chance this form will receive its signature move, Behemoth Blade. With the powerful Behemoth Blade at its side, it could potentially propel it even higher. Moving on to Zamazenta, its crown form makes it a very different beast. Its defense rises to an impressive 292, which would make it the fifth most defensive Pokemon in the game. This could make Zamazenta a game changer in PvP, perhaps making it even more viable in the Ultra League. It's hard to tell depending if it receives a brand new moveset, but there's still a lot of potential for the shield mascot as well. So what do you think about Zacian and Zamazenta in Pokemon Go? Are you excited to see them make their debut so soon? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already, so you don't miss out. 
I'm currently hard at work breaking down the other three brand new Pokemon we received with this event, so stay tuned for a second analysis video on Greedent, Dubwool, and Phalanx. I can't wait to share it with you soon. So until next time, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.